Hi guys, I uh, thought I'd uh, do a live. I tried that, but up here my uh, Wi-Fi isn't uh, fast enough to do a live. So uh, instead of giving you some really, really bad uh, video, I um, on a live that I decided to uh, just do a um, a quick video because I do have have to talk a, a little bit about what happened because I understand that a lot of you um, haven't been through the whole thing with me about the Royal Talents. Uh, I understand that and if I would just you know if I just dropped in into this channel and I um, I got you know a piece of the picture maybe it's not that clear that what really happened and uh, some people wouldn't understand so that's why I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do a video and I'll uh, tell you all how this all came uh, to, to uh, this point in, um, in what happened. And first off, I got to tell you guys, you did it again. Within 30 minutes, you know, I was so over it, I don't even care anymore. Um, another thing what happened is... Just after I finished the video this morning, I go down and I check my mail as I was uploading this video, and I got a uh, email from uh, the Ova Troll, the Flu Troll people. They really want to meet with me, so I said, "Okay, let's do that." And uh, so that's uh, an ongoing thing again. I don't think I'm going to use this one. Look at that; that is ugly. I don't think I can straighten this out with a little bit of water, so I won't use that. But I'll use these. Plop. So, okay, here's the deal. Here, This is how it went. <clears throat> so very um, early in the beginning of my channel, people said to me, you know, um, why don't you uh, write to uh, Royal Talents, because uh, you're using their paints a lot. Why don't you just write to them and ask them to sponsor you? And I'm telling you, this is not something I really like to do because, you know, it feels strange to write a company and say, look at me, be a big artist and will you sponsor me? So at first I didn't want to do that. So after a couple of weeks and people are really asking me to, um, to write to them, I did. So I wrote them a letter, said, you know, hi, I'm Anne-Marie Ridoff. I have a YouTube channel. I have like 4,000 um, subscribers on my channel. I have a Facebook group. Um, is there a possibility that you would sponsor me, you know, to help out with the costs of making all these videos? So I got a um, uh, an email back saying they would um, pass pass it along to the person that was in charge of sponsoring. So for me, that was it. I was ready to just do that and give up. So they didn't get back to me, and um, after another few weeks, people started saying, Anne-Marie, don't do this. Just write them, or remind them that you, that they're going to, uh, you know, pass it on to people and that you haven't heard anything yet, so just do it. So I thought, okay, let's do that. One more, one more mail, can't hurt. So I wrote to them, I said, um, I haven't heard back, and um, are you... Uh, going to, uh, you know, come get back to me and, and say something about the sponsorship. Then the person that was in charge of uh, marketing said to me in a mail, like it was really, the words in the mail were like, oh boy, here's another one who wants something for free. So she said, you can get six markers and you can pick out four colors of paint. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. So I just laughed and I mailed them back. I said, no, thank you. I can pay for those myself. It's no big deal. Thank you. And that's it. So I closed that door. And of course I was a little, you know, I don't know, not upset, but the way they treated me, I'm thinking that's the way they're going to treat everyone who does that. And that's pretty snobby and stuck up to write something like that. And um, just blow you off with six markers and four colors paint? Come on. It's a big company. So, but I got over it. And at first I, I swapped the, the paint brand. I went uh, looking for something that I liked more. 
and um, eventually I came back to uh, Amsterdam Acrylics because I just liked the paint. But I had already moved on. I had put that way behind me. I wasn't thinking about it anymore. And a lot of people on Facebook and on my channel did. And they said, you know, that's just rude what they did to you. They wrote to the uh, CEO or whoever. They wrote a lot of letters. And the messages they got back was more like, I didn't want to do anything. They wanted to do everything, but I didn't want to do anything. And that was not true. You know, when you insult uh, someone that does so many videos as I do, like the leaders of paint are flying through this studio a week, and, you know, they just blow you off with a couple of markers and four colors paint, you know, it's just not worth it. So, I had put it all behind me. I eventually went back to Amsterdam Acrylics, and I was pretty happy. Nothing wrong in the world. When... They emailed me and um, asked me to come to the headquarters. And first I just ignored them. I thought, you know, I'm already over this. I don't want to do this. Uh, it's okay. I don't care anymore. And uh, just let it be. But then she mailed me again. She said, we really, really want to talk to you and blah, 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 blah. So I gave her my phone number and she called me and she said, you know, maybe it didn't come over right in an email, but we're, we really want to talk to you and want to discuss the possibilities. So I said, okay, if that's the case, sure, I'm willing to drive up to uh, Appledorn where they are, and um, I'll be happy to meet you. Let's do this. So that's when we set up the meeting for tomorrow. Then this morning, out of the blue, she calls and she says, um, we have, we've had a meeting about this and we don't want to connect our name to how you are using our paint. So we don't want it. So that was it. That was the exact words she said. And Royal Talents can, well, I won't say that because I had to delete a few words out of my previous video. But um, if they deny that she said that, and I'm pretty sure maybe she's watching this uh, video. Don't deny it, because I have the whole call recorded. So there's no way you're going to get out from under this. It was um, very rude. It was um, like a slap in the face. You know, I didn't ask to come to headquarters. You asked me. And I thought, you know, okay, let's do this. And then you call one day before the meeting and you say... You know, we don't want to put our name on the way you paint. So, that's fine by me. I don't care. But the whole backlash of all these people that have written today, who have cancelled the orders, who have done everything, who got upset, who wrote to the uh, company, you know what the whole thing is? I don't care what people use for paint. If you're going to use Amsterdam Acrylics, you just use Amsterdam Acrylics. Because... It's something that you have to use, not me, because after I finish it, I'm done with the whole company. I don't want it in my studio anymore, and um, it's not because I'm um, upset about it. It's just I don't do business with people who act like a snob and who treat the little guy like a doormat, because that's the, the feeling I got from Royal Talents. You just get, you know, pushed aside like piss off. When even, I, I didn't even want the second meeting. They asked me to do the second meeting. I didn't ask for it. So then to blow it off one day before the meeting, I think it is totally ridiculous. Really, really, really I do. Because, you know, you can't, it just, it just doesn't go in my head that, you know, all of a sudden they looked at my YouTube channel and thought, no, that's not a kind of painting that we want to connect our name to. Like they didn't know what I was doing with the paint? Come on, people. What kind of company is that? And that is um, the whole essence, the whole thing why I am going to use this paint and stop with anything that has royal talents on it. This is pretty, isn't it? <laughs> so... <laughs> 
that's why I'm gonna stop and uh, not use any more of this brand because they treat the little guy like dirt that's it so um, there are a lot of paint brands out there a lot and um, I'll be writing a few before I decide which one I'm gonna go with but it is absolutely not gonna be Royal Talons now if someone on here um, like me has very very good experience with Royal Talons I say stick with what you like I don't care I will help you regardless of if you're using that that paint because I'm not so so stuck up on myself really I don't care if oh no I'm not gonna torch this one I kinda like it with all those things don't you I'm gonna try um, try this one dry it and see how it works out so I don't care you can use Royal Talons and if you are not getting cells I will help you just as much as I would help someone using other paint because I'm not that small minded at all I'm not like that so I just say oh, I want to do one more like that I just say you know use what you want to use but I am done with that company and it's my opinion it's what I feel and I don't care what anyone else says you can say that anything about it but the way they've treated me from A to Z it's done I don't think uh, a company should treat anyone like that to tell you the truth if it's someone that buys two tubes of paint a month even then it's it's just not how you treat customers I'm in that field of work and um, I see it like this someone calls my call center and if I were to talk to them I'm talking to the person that's paying my salary that's what I'm talking to and if that person has um, like say the cheapest internet uh, connection we have uh, many over here you can choose from uh, low budget to high budget I don't care even if it's low budget that person is paying my salary and I will listen to what that person has to say and that's how it should be I think all companies should be like that you know the customer is paying the salary of all those people sitting in those offices and um, being so high and mighty they should just think about the people that are um, paying their salary that's what I think and that's how I work and that's how I'll always work I don't care who says anything other than that but that's how it works you sweet people of YouTube you know half an hour after I made that video I had so many comments and all so beautiful and sweet and encouraging and uplifting and on my Facebook group the people were being so 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 kind you know I just love you all <laughs> there's no way a company can do anything to replace what you guys give me the feeling you give me no company can replace that never ever ever so if you like the Amsterdam acrylics just go ahead use it it's good paint it is I just don't like the way they treat their customers so if you do if you do like the paint you should just use it really do it there we go that's number five I like this one too look at that is that cute? yes it is I like these little pink ones what I do with all these uh, little ones people is um, <clears throat> I, um, I slip one in when I sell, uh, sell something if there's room in the box there's not always room but if there's room in the box I'll slip one of these little ones in and uh, I sign them it's just like a real piece of art only really small and there's something about me I like everything uh, very very small which is teeny tiny there's something about it that I don't know what it is but I like stuff that's really small or really expensive it's one or the other 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, we bought um, the faucet for our uh, kitchen. We went to one of those uh, shops where they have like, I don't know, I think 300 of those faucets all in a row. And um, not connected, of course, but, you know, you can pick out the colors and that kind of stuff and turn on the knobs and I don't know. So me and my husband went over there and w I'm working along all the faucets, but there's no price tags on them. So um, I stop and I see one that I really, really like for in the kitchen. And I'm talking like 30 years ago. So I see one I really, really like. And um, the guy, he, he goes to the office to get the price. He says, boy, you do know how to pick them because this is the most expensive one we have. It was like uh, more than my kitchen cost or something like that. Well, my husband looked at me and said, don't you dare say, okay, we'll take it because uh, there will be divorce hanging in the air. <laughs> that, that was really funny. I love it. But I have the tendency to pick out, always pick out the very, very expensive stuff. But I guess a lot of women have that, right? We know how to do that. We just go for the uh, the really nice quality look and then, oops, it's pretty expensive. I just want to put one layer of dark over it. I think I'd like that. Just a little bit of dark. Just to pick it up a little bit. Look at that. That is cute. There we go. I like it. Ooh, let me see if I can get it in focus because I think you guys will like that too. And that is uh, what I was talking about, like ribbons. There you go. See, that's like ribbons laying on top. And that's how you do ribbons. You just um, make sure that your paint isn't all mixed up but has those uh, long streaks in them. And then when you pour, you make sure that you make a nice long line like that. And that looks exactly like a little ribbon. If I have it in focus down there. There you go. So, that's about, that's the story. And I really wanted to make that clear. Because it's not that they just blew me off because I asked them for something. I didn't ask them for anything. They asked me to come over there. And they should have done their homework before they asked me because that shows that they're a totally stupid company. That's right. Stupid. So I'm going to find another company that's not that stupid and I'm going to buy their paint. Na 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 na. <laughs> I don't care. You know, there's a, a lot of more uh, paint brands out there that'll do the trick. And maybe even one that'll uh, react much and much better to uh, what I'm doing to it than... Uh, than this one so that's about it so I've been uh, chatting on for 18 minutes that's more than enough I'm gonna upload this and people I want to thank you really really thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the comments because it makes all the difference to know that you know there are so many people standing behind you and helping you and you know just lifting you up and uh, making you laugh because a lot of comments you they just made me laugh so much you guys are awesome you really are and uh, it just goes to show that you know if we stick together nothing can uh, touch us and make us you know feel bad because we just make each other feel better again right that's it so thank you all and tomorrow I will be making a new video, but tomorrow I will also have all the pieces that uh, for Heidi, the giveaway, will be finished tomorrow. Um, I had a, have another piece that I have to do, uh, that I have to send out, will be finished by tomorrow. And then tomorrow is Thursday, and they will be at the post office before Saturday. So then they'll be on their way to their happy new owners. So thank you all. I love you to pieces. And I'll see you tomorrow. If your day is just starting, make some beautiful art. Bye-bye.